Today our topic is on local anesthetics toxicity. We discuss in this video, clinical features, treatment of toxicity, management of local anesthetics toxicity, prevention of local anesthetics toxicity. So let's go to start our lecture. Local anesthetic toxicity. As the name indicate, local anesthetic are meant to act at the site of deposition. Their systemic absorption is clinically undesirable. Systemic toxicity appears due to increased plasma concentration of local anesthetics. Plasma concentration rises abnormally due to any of the following reasons. Systemic absorption after overdosage during regional anesthesia. Inadvertent intravenous administration of the drugs. Causes. When a large dose injected into very vascular area. When a normal dose in inadvertently injected intravenous. Accidental rapid intravenous injection. Rapid absorption. Absolute overdose of the dose used in excessive. Premature release of tourniquet during intravenous regional anesthesia. Reduced metabolism of the drugs in severe liver disease. Mechanism of local anesthetic toxicity. Central nervous system toxicity. Central nervous system toxicity is caused by effect of local anesthetic or neuronal cell membrane. Initially there is blocked of amygdaloid complex. Followed by blocked of inhibitory pathways in cerebral cortex. This is allows facilitatory neurons to discharge electrical impulses unopposed. As a result CNS excitation and convulsions occurs. Further increase in dose of local anesthetics suppress facilitatory pathways leading to CNS depression and respiratory arrest. Cardiovascular toxicity. Local anesthetics are sodium ions channel blockers. Their cardiotoxic effects are due to blocked of sodium ions channels present in the heart. This causes decrease in rate of depolarization of cardiac muscle fiber. Studies have shown that local anesthetics inhibits inward current of sodium ions and its release from sarcoplasmic reticulum. Clinically these changes manifest as decreased myocardial contractility, automacity and conduction velocity. When used in high-dose local anesthetics causes relaxation of peripheral vasculature leading to hypotension. The combined effects of bradycardia. Decreased contractility and hypotension can result into cardiac arrest. Clinical features. A variety of sign and symptoms occur depending on the blood level and its rate of rise. Primarily involves CNS and CVS. Central nervous system effects. Lightheadedness, dizziness, circumoral and tongue numbness. Usual and auditory disturbances. Disorientation. Drowsiness. Shivering. Twitching over distal extremities and face. Tonic clonic convulsions. Coma and respiratory arrest. Cardiovascular effects. Earlier mild toxicity. Tachycardia. Raise in blood pressure. If no adrenaline with local anesthesia then bradycardia and hypotension. Severe toxicity. Severe and interactable arrhythmias. Cardiovascular collapse. Ventricular fibrillation. Decrease excitability. Prolonged conduction. Treatment of toxicity. Secure intravenous access before injection of any dose that may cause toxic effects. Should have adequate resuscitation equipment and drugs available before starting to inject. Stop injection of local anesthetic and assess the patient. Convulsion is treated with small dose of benzodiazepine or short barbiturates such as theopental. If they are not controlled by small dose then a short muscle relaxant given. Ensure an adequate airway and give oxygen in high concentrate. Treatment based on the A, B, C, D, of basic life support and called for help while treating to the patient. Ensure the patient is breathing adequately. Intubation may be required if the patient is unconscious and unable to maintain an airway. Circulatory failure is treated with intravenous fluids and vasopressors such as ephedrine. If hypotension occur adrenaline may be used at 1, 1000 concentration. CPR if cardiac arrest.
Management of severe local anesthetic toxicity. Recognition. Sudden alteration in mental status. Severe agitation or loss of consciousness, with or without tonic clonic convulsion. Cardiovascular collapse, sinus bradycardia, conduction block, asystole and ventricular tachyarrhythmia. Immediate management. Stop injection the local anesthetic. Call for help. Maintain the airway. Give 100% oxygen. Confirm intravenous access. Control seizure. Assess the cardiovascular status. Treatment. In circulatory arrest. Start cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Manage arrhythmias. Consider the use of cardiopulmonary bypass if available. Consider the lipid emulsion. Continue the CPR with lipid emulsion recovery maybe more than one hour. Reading the risk of toxicity. Decide on the concentration of local anesthetic that is required for the block to perform. Use the latest toxic drugs. Use lower dose. Always inject the drug slowly. Injection of a test dose. In case of large volume, dilute the local anesthetic with normal saline. Add adrenaline to delay the absorption. Prevention of severe local anesthetic toxicity. Regional block should always be performed in an area required to deal with cardiorespiratory collapse, such as an anesthetic room or block room within the theater suite. The age, weight and infirmity of the patient should be taken into account, and doses adjusted accordingly. Syringe of local anesthetic and perineural and epidural infusion should be labeled. Gentle aspiration of the syringe should precede every injection. Both during and after drug administration, the anesthetist must keep talking to the patient. An appropriate test dose should be given depending on the situation. Ultrasound allows visualization of the position of the needle or catheter. Thanks for watching. Anesthesia with Dr. T. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks.